Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Gigi. This is my first upload ever. I came to y'all with a quick makeup look. It's a soft cut crease with a bold lip. So if you will like, share, subscribe, comment down below on what you think. It's more of me coming up. So just keep on watching. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the Nubian palette. And we're gonna go with uh, this dark shade right here. And we're gonna go in it with the um, Morphe M431 brush. Tap off the excess. And we're just going to pat it inside the crease. Pat inside the crease. It's like a dark, dark brown, blackish shade. It looks black to me. We're just going to pat it until we get that color that we want to get it deep dark then we're gonna go in with this elf brush just a regular little elf blending brush and we're gonna go in with this brown shade right here to blend it out Pat it, tap off the excess, and then just start blending those edges out. It looks all harsh right now, but I was getting to it, I was getting to it. The circle emotions. And then to blend all those harsh lines out, we're gonna go in with this shade right here with the Morphe M506 brush. We're gonna tap the excess and we're just gonna blend it all out. Have to soften that up because you know it was a little too harsh. Yeah, just blend all the harshness out, all the harshness. And then we're going to go back in with the Morphe M431 brush. We're going to go back in with this black right here. Or whatever it is black brown smoky black <laughs> and we're just gonna pat it then we're gonna go back in with the elf brush and pat it tap the access blend it out Just trying to smoke out the edges here. And then we're going to go back in with this brown shade again. This light brown shade. Tap it. 
and then blend it all out. Now that we have that done, we're going to cut it. You gotta cut it. So we're gonna go in with a tart tape shape and tan sand. We're just gonna dab a little bit, dab a little bit on the back of the finger. We're gonna take our square brush, wherever I just had it, here we go. It's just a elf brush, a little flat elf brush. We're just going to tap it in there. And we about to cut it. and tacky after we cut that crease baby we just cut that crease we are about to get it in with the shadows all right so i'm using two pigments one in the shade four this one is in the shade four and then we have another one in the shade seven Here we're gonna use seven first. It's an NYX brand. Gonna use seven first. blend it out and so I'm going to use the same brush for the other one so I'm just gonna clean my brush off and we're gonna go in with the next shade tap it all on here start from the back tap it on there and then I'll blend it in this way to make it look all blended, baby. Now that we got that down packed, you can look at it, make sure it's how you want it. If not, 
can go back in and fix it some more like I'm about to do. I'm about to go back in a little bit. And just tap it in there. Clean off your brush. Bam. Now I'm about to go in with the liner. And this is the NYX eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. I love gel. I mean, not gel. What is this? The liquid liner. I love liquid liner. And I'm just going to pull the eye back. And I like to go close to my lash line first. So, I can figure out how I'm going to do my wing. I won't go too big, too little. So, I just go close to my lash line. from off the top and then I create my wing from there go real slow because you can't mess up like I did just now but we're gonna fix it I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I am not the best at getting creating a uh, wing liner. I suck, for real, for real. This is this mascara? I don't know. The name is all taken off, but it's a cool little mascara, though. Lash it up. Mash it up. Then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Studio Eye Studio eyeliner. See, I, I do the this type of eyeliner only for the bottom. My water lash line, and this is a Sasha Cash little brush in number 107. And I just. Tap it on here, rub it on here, like so. And then I like to wipe my brush off before I dip back in here. I'm the only one who uses stuff anyway, but still. Got 
that down pack. And then I like to do the uh, clean up all the makeup and stuff off my face. I use Pacific Water. This one is kale. They have it in coconut. And I have, they have it in another one. But this is amazing. This is for like, you can um, clean your face with, like if you done washing your face and stuff and all the excess makeup stuff that's on there, it helps uh, take it all off. It works really good. And if you have black marks on your face as well, this is a good water to use. And it's vegan, 100% vegan. That's why I like it. 100% vegan. Just dip it on there. And just clean it off. It also cleans off all the dirt off the face too. You don't have to just use it for makeup. You can, after you wash your face, you can put this on there, see? All the dirty makeup that's on there. Yep, after you wash your face, you can use this. It's all the makeup that was on my face. And then I'm gonna go on with some moisturizer for my face. Yeah, if I can find it, and I guess we can go on with Pacific. It's not a lot of here, but it's the same thing, Pacific. And it's a face moisturizer. Okay, that sucks. Okay. Oh, I had a new one. Okay. And just grab it. Dry face. Ooh, my face be so dry sometimes. Then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty. Dirty, dirty beauty blender. Grab it and then start bouncing it up on here. Some more, just pump some more on your hand. Just one pump for now.
And I'm gonna use a little precision brush to get on top of these eyebrows. You just still see that little halo effect on there. So let's get a little brush. And this is a elf brush as well. Just blend it out. I'm going to go with a foundation stick for my highlights, and it's in the shade Toffee, and the brand is Maybelline. It's Toffee 330. I'm a little extra. I like to be a little bright bright but yeah let me take my same dirty dirty beauty blender and just balance it all out And if your beauty blender get a little dry, a little dry, dry, you can um, go rinse it, but I just think I'm just going to beat my face. <laughs> Just beat that face, bro. Beat that face. And to set it, I'm going to use the cover fix. Woo, woo. Tap some of that. I'm clumsy as heck. Very clumsy. I'm damn near about to drop everything. <laughs> Something wrong. Use the same Dolce Beauty Blender and just tap that on up in here. And this kind of sets, cools it down from it being so bright. After you're done, just let it sit for a little while. And for my contour, I'm going to use that same brown shadow right here. That same blackish brown shadow. 
And I'm gonna use this. It's a little random brush I bought. Just tap it in there. You don't wanna use too much. And then just sweep, 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 sweep like that. Like so, like so, like so. And then I'm gonna go in with the black radiance in the shade Ebony to blend all that out. And I'm just gonna use a blush brush, but I use it for blending. I like it. And I just sweep it up in there, tap it off, and blend it on out. Mm. And I'm gonna do the other side, the other side. I don't be knowing what I be doing with stuff. I just be throwing stuff everywhere. I'm very unorganized. Such a shame, such a shame. My nose is itching like crazy. Just pat a little bit on the top. And I actually got this technique from watching a whole lot of YouTube, the drags of RuPaul Drag Race. Yeah, I've seen one of the guys do this, and I fell in love, fell in love, sweetie pie. And I'm just going to tap it and go to work. What I like to do is just put a little bit and then go like this to my nose. Nothing too shabby. Nothing too shabby, shabby. Weird, I know, but yeah, it's cool. I'm going to set the rest of my foundation with the L'Oreal uh, Pro Matte in the shade Coco. I love this one. It's so bomb. And what I do is kind of clean up the bottom of that contour and dust off. Dust that pot off a little bit. To me, it just blends everything all out. Now for blush, I'm going to use this number seven natural blush and say shade coral. I love it. It's only like the only blush I use. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and this is my favorite, favorite, favorite blush brush because 
yet. Lauren Frank, if you ain't have one of these backpacks when you was young, yeah. I got this from off the Ipsy collection. I was so excited. So I just smell a little bit and I just. And if you just put too much, just use the same brush. Sorry, not that one. And then just blend it all out. For highlight, I'm going to use this, I don't even know, Shimmer Bronzer. I got this from off Ipsy, too. And just take a highlighted brush. I got this brush from Ipsy, too. Don't know. It is a royal, a royal brush. Now I'm using two different lipsticks. I got this. It don't have no name on it, no nothing. But I'm so mad because I can't find it in No Beauty Supply no more. And I'm getting ready to run out. But it's like a dark burgundy color. And it's in the shade Wicked. I got this from a local beauty supply store. And I'm going to use this for my outliner. Just outline it. Girl, you styling. <laughs> and I'm going to use this Red Mac Ruby Woo for the inside. Right, so I'm going to put my lashes on, fix my hair, and I'm going to come back with the end results. <laughs> 